Hey, I'm back. Uh, I've done enough bad ideas for a while. Let's go ahead and do a good idea. Let's make ourselves a uh, current limiter. This isn't my design. Current limiters, you know, that's old hat for electronics people. Not Nothing new there. But even this particular design I'm stealing pretty much directly from uh, an RC Groups user, Menmoth posted it like a year and a half ago and I've been meaning to build one since I saw his design and I'm finally getting around to it. So all I have is a pigtail for power. I have three wires. These will eventually go to uh, alligator clips. I just don't have any handy at this minute so for now we're just going to go to this header and I will uh, take care of that better. This should be slightly higher gauge wire too. Again just what I have on hand to demo with right now, and it, it'll be good enough for what I'm doing tonight. So we have a, uh, excuse me, a 3057 light bulb. You can see I've been planning on doing this for a while. And what we're going to do is we're gonna, there's two leads on each side, and on one side we're going to take one of them, and we're going to get underneath it, and we're going to pop it loose. From this top side here. So we're going to just kind of get in there, pop this, and then we're going to bring it back around so that there's two wires next to each other on this side. And that is where we're going to connect our battery pop plus. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know how easy or hard these are going to be to solder to. I don't think it's going to be taking solder fairly well. It's got a big old blob there between the two. I've already pre-tinned these. And... There we go. Our positive wire is on. Now, we have two more wires and we have a ground. Our ground is just going to be connected to this ground. So I'm just going to put these together. And since they're both tinned, I'm going to twist them like this. And we will solder them together. And then for protection, we will give them a little bit of heat shrink just to keep them nice. I know everybody's watching this, waiting for me to burn myself or cut myself or do something else kind of ridiculous one of these days. Keep watching, it'll happen. I'm sure of it. I love this little heat tool. I got this thing for like six bucks on sale at a fabric store or something. Works great. I'm like a full heat gun. It doesn't get too hot. And uh, it works nice and fast. I use it all the time, and it's uh, even good enough I've used it to do surface mount rework by heating a surface mount board and reflowing pieces on it. So it, it's a pretty cool deal. Now, I have to remember here, if you look at this, this wire is closer to the inside, this one's closer to the outside. One of them will carry 2.5 amps of current, one will carry point. 5 amps of current. And I'm going to go double check real quick which is which. Yeah, I thought so. The inner one, we're going to put our yellow wire on. That's the 0.5 amp. And that, that's our lower current option. 
and you're using this, ideally, this bulb will never light unless something's wrong. If this light ever goes on while you're using it, that's a sign that something is wrong and you have a short and you need to stop what you're doing and figure out what's going wrong. So we solder the orange wire to the low current. We're going to solder the red wire to the high current. There we go. Now, a little uh, large heat shrink around here and we'll be good to go. I'm not going to do that just yet because, like I said, I still want to put some better wires on here. So I'm just going to put a bit of electrical tape around here for now, which I should have handy, but I may not. I may have done something with that. Thought I had to, you know, must have put it away already. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap that in some electrical tape for now. Uh, then I'll break out the big heat shrink. And this is our current limiter now, basically. We can uh, plug this into our battery. And now, this is between the red wire and the black wire. We can pull 2.5 amps before the bulb will come on. And before between the yellow wire and the brown wire, we can pull 0.5 amps before the light will come on. And if the light comes on, the light will sink our current, so we'll be safe. So we can now go ahead and use this so I don't fry my whole $60 board when I start reflashing the built-in ESCs. Excellent. Okay, that's a quick and easy one. Um, I guess I should add in the old, uh, you know, if you like this, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it helps me you know, it doesn't yet, but ideally someday it might. And if it does, then that means I can keep doing more of this stuff. So if you like it, you know, like it. And hope you do. All right, see you soon.